In these problems, we're dealing with a special kind of triangle called an isosceles triangle. And the thing about an isosceles triangle is it has two sides that are the same. And I'm just going to draw it this way here with these two sides here. So those little hash marks mean those sides are the same length. And what happens because of that is that these two angles are also the same. So I'll put little hash marks there. We call this uh, unequal side down here the base and so these are the base angles and it's the base angles that are the same and this angle up here the one that's different is called the vertex angle so let's take a look at some problems that have to do with isosceles triangles the first one here says use the information in the figure below to find the measure of angle D so we want to find this angle right right here and what we've got is an isosceles triangle. It's kind of turned on its side from the first one I show you. Here is a, a congruent side and here's a congruent side. So the base is down here, which means the two base angles are D and E. And what we're given here is the vertex angle. Well, the way to figure out what these base angles are is actually pretty simple. All three angles are going to add up to 180 degrees. So I subtract the vertex angle here, so 180 minus 97, and that's 83, and then that has to be split evenly between the two base angles. So it's simply 83 divided by 2, which is 41.5 degrees, and that is the measure of angle D. Let's look at another one. This one says find the value of X in this figure here, and we've got this weird looking kind of lopsided bow tie thing going on. And we're told that this is an isosceles triangle. These double hash marks just mean the same thing, that this side is the same length as this side. And it looks like then the base angles are down here, and x is one of our base angles. But we don't have any other angles in this triangle, so how are we going to figure it out? Well, we've got one other thing going on here, and that is a vertical angle. So these lines cross in an x, so if this is 17 over here, this is going to be 17 over here. And once we've got that vertex angle, we simply subtract it from 180, which would be 163, and then we've got to split that up between the two base angles, so we just divide that by 2, and that is 81.5. All right, one more. This one says, what is the measure of each base angle of an isosceles triangle? If its vertex angle measures 44 degrees and its two congruent sides measure 24 units. So let's just draw a little picture here. So there's my triangle. Uh, these two sides are the same and it says the vertex angle measures 44 degrees. And We're trying to find the base angle. Uh, they're also telling us how long these sides are. I'm not even going to put that information in here because it's, it, you don't need it. Once you've got that vertex angle, you simply subtract it from 180. So that's 136, and then you divide that by 2. So the base angle here is 68 degrees. So that's a little bit of work with isosceles triangles.